Hello everyone, myself Dr. Sagar Pushp and you are watching Doctor's Desk. So after a long time I'm posting video as I am uh, busy in my residency that's why I'm not getting so much time but I'm trying my best to collect all the information which you people don't know and uh, all this information will help you uh, while choosing your career or in your career. So in this video we're going to discuss about the Indian Railway Health Services uh, for the post of Direct DMO and Direct Senior DMO through the UPSC. So in this video, we're going to discuss about uh, the educational qualification need for, uh, needed for this, experience needed for this, uh, what procedures you have to follow, through which uh, you will get uh, selection, and uh, what is the salary, uh, about the posting, all the things we're going to discuss in detail here. So I hope uh, this video is going to help you a lot. So let's start the video now. Hello everyone. So now we'll uh, discuss everything in detail. Uh, after, actually, after clearing the UPSC CMS exams, exam, you'll get post like ADMO. And after four years of service, you'll get promote, promotion to the DMO. And after working there for five years at DMO post, you'll get promoted to the senior DMO. But many people don't know about this, that you'll get direct DMO post or direct senior DMO post through the UPSC only, but just giving other exam, which uh, I'm gonna tell you in a few seconds. So uh, actually uh, UPSC conduct combined medical services exams through uh, you will get ADMO post. But uh, if you want to take the direct DMO and senior DMO post, what UPSC, uh, what other criteria? I'll tell you. 30% uh, of the total posts in, in IRHS cadre for the DMO post uh, will be directly recruitment, uh, will be recruited directly through the UPSC. And 70% will be uh, people who have joined through UPSC combined medical services exams, like uh, they are on ADMO post. So 70% of them will be pr promoted to the DMO. And rest 30% post will be uh, filled by uh, direct recruitment through UPSC. Uh, actually, if that uh, post will uh, not be taken by the ADMOs, then that 30% will be conduct, uh, rec directly recruited by the UPSC. Similarly, for the senior DMO, if you'll see, uh, approximately 5% of the total posts of the senior DMO will be uh, directly recruited by the UPSC and rest 90, 95% post uh, will uh, get that uh, DMO people will get after their promotion to the senior DMO. So these are the basic things uh, which uh, I want to tell you about like uh, how you will get this DMO and senior DMO post. So if you see what all education qualification need for the DMO or the senior DMO. Firstly, we'll uh, talk about the DMO post. You should have the MBBS degree and you should have post graduation degree or yeah, diploma in any uh, concerned speciality. And uh, for the senior DMO, you need to have a MBBS and you should have uh, both uh, post graduation degree as, uh, as well as the super speciality degree. So uh, for the senior DMO, you need to have extra super speciality degree and for the DMO, you need to have uh, MBBS plus post graduation degree. So these are the basic education qualification you needed for DNA, uh, DMO and senior DMO. What all experience required for, uh, for the direct recruitment to the DMO and senior DMO? So as I told you earlier that for the DMO, you need to have a uh, MBBS plus post graduation degree or yeah, diploma degree in concern speciality. So you, for the experience, you need to have one year experience in concern speciality after obtaining your post graduation degree. And if you have done your diploma course, then you need to have a two year experience uh, after obtaining your PG diploma. Similar in senior DMO, uh, you should have MBBS degree, post graduation degree and super specialty degree like MCH and DM. And uh, uh, along with that, you need to have a two years uh, working experience after obtaining your uh, MD, IMS, uh, yeah, DNB. So these are the experience required for uh, getting direct post like DMO and senior DMO through the uh, UPSC. What procedures you have to follow for uh, uh, getting into this post? Actually, UPSC uh, on every two to three years, they'll conduct interview for the direct recruitment to the DMO and senior DMO post. So all you need to uh, do that, you need to check the UPSC site regularly. And from there, we'll get that uh, vacancy about uh, the DMO and direct DMO. And I I'd already told about the education qualification and the experience needed for that. So you need to fill that form and you need to submit that form uh, to the UPSC online. And after that, uh, UPSC will do the screening of all those forms. And uh, after screening of all those forms, they'll call some people for the interview. Like if the 30 posters are there, they'll call uh, three times of that, around uh, 
uh, 90 people will uh, will be called and they'll do the interview for that and uh, they they'll just uh, ask uh, their questions regarding to the concerned department your concerned speciality and some other uh, different questions regarding the general uh, things related to the health department so uh, while uh, then after they'll conduct the interview and after that they'll put the result and then uh, railways will uh, railway board will contact you and you will you will get your posting this is a basic procedure you have to follow for uh, uh, getting this post uh, salary i am talking about for the dmo this is the senior scale level uh, if you are joining as a admo you will be junior scale and after doing job for 4 uh, years you will be uh, promoted to the dmo and in the admo the level will be the 10 and basic salary will be 56100 uh, and in 11 direct uh, level 11 you will basic pay will be 67000 67700 and approximately you will get salary around 1 lakh 20 or 25000 and uh, if you are joining as a senior, senior dmo uh, this is a junior administrative grade uh, and the, uh, your 7 cpc level 12 and your basic pay will be 78800 and approximately 1 lakh point uh, 150000 or 1 lakh 60000 you will be you will get overall salary so if you want to know about the salary details i had already posted two videos regarding the salary so you can uh, i am i'll share the link in the description so you can directly go to that link and watch the every details about the salary like what all airlines will you'll get plus uh, i have already discussed about the all the regarding all the hospitals of the railways so you can also uh, I'll, uh, i'll gonna share all these links in the description so it will help you while choosing your career so uh, training for if you are joining as a dmo you will get 2 to 4 weeks orientation training at national academy of indian railways vadodara so after getting your appointment letter they will call you to the nayar vadodara and they'll conduct 2 to 4 week orientation training at the vadodara so uh, your posting and let's talk about the posting uh, before uh, watching this posting thing you, i think uh, you should watch uh, all the three parts of the types of railway hospital in the uh, in the irs scatter so after watching that you will get to idea about each and every hospital and the working style of each and every hospital so if you are joining as a specialist uh, mainly you will get posting in the divisional hospitals and the central hospitals so what are the divisional hospitals and what are central hospitals for that you need to watch that video uh, for that i'll share the link in the description so and uh, you may be posted in the divisional hospital or in the central hospital and if you are joining as a senior dmo uh, 99% chances are that you will get posting in Uh, central hospital only so uh, about the dmo and senior dmo i already discussed uh, in my uh, previous part of this video so i hope uh, this video will uh, going to help all the all the people who are uh, completing after completing their post graduation are giving the upsc cms exam and joining as a admo uh, so if you want to uh, join directly as a dmo or directly as a senior dmo these uh, these are the very good opportunity for you uh, many people don't know about this so i thought i'll uh, make a video uh, regarding this so it will help other people who want to join railways after completing their post graduation or the super speciality so i hope uh, you have uh, liked this video so uh, i'll i'm trying my best to collect all the informations regarding the opportunities for the medical graduates so some more uh, lot more are coming i hope uh, all the all those things also going to help you a lot Uh, so i'm not getting so much time but uh, uh, whatever time i'm getting i'm trying my best trying my best to collect all the information and making make videos uh, regarding that and putting on my channel so kindly follow share and subscribe so that i can make some more videos and it will uh, give me po a positive boost up so it will help me uh, making some more videos for you so again all the best for your life keep helping others it will come back to you in any ways you have different different uh, things to do in your life all the best for your life and uh, upsc cms exam is coming so again all the best for that exams so keep watching and kindly follow share and subscribe thank you